We've just had a massive news drop from Takara Tomy about Beyblade X. Since the announcement of a new gen a while ago, fans, myself included, have taken to forums speculating on what they have in store for us. Hell, I even had a whole predictions video in the works, but ended up taking too long on that, though I was surprisingly right about a fair bit. All the products I'm about to mention will be released on July 15th, and if you want to know where to get them in your country, check out my Beyblade Buyer's Guide in the top right to see some websites I've used myself to get bays at an affordable price. Though. I'd recommend you first try Bays and Bricks to get 7% off each item with code MILGO. First things first, by gone are the days of overcomplicated burst designs, we're back to the simple iconicity that made Beyblade what it was. The style of the Bays themselves are reminiscent of the original 90s Beyblade series with the Bit Beast at the center, but there is a clear inspiration from Metal Saga with those die cast contact points. I don't know about all of you, but my friends and I are of the opinion that Metal Fight was peak Beyblade, and I for one adore this return to form. Like in Burst, the bays disassemble into three parts. The blade, the main contact points and weight of the bay, the ratchet, fits underneath the bay and fills a similar role to the disc that we know in Burst, and the bit, which is your driver slash performance tip. Bursts also make a return, however, not to the same extent as Gen 1 Beyblade Burst, where it seems to be just more of a side thing than the main draw of matches. The new bays announced are Dran Sword, Hell Scythe, Wizard Arrow, Knight Shield, and the prize bay, Cobalt Drake. Which leads me into... Bay loggers are back. Same as before, attach them to your launcher and connect them to a mobile app and earn points by launching. What is this app specifically? We don't know yet, but we do know that like in Burst, you can potentially win a rare bay only available through this method. Instead of Dynamite Perseus or Amaterios, it is the new and very cool Cobalt Drake. The launchers at launch are much the same as with Burst. We have a ripcord launcher, string launcher, and a grip that can be attached. The stadiums also have something new going on. There are five pockets to score knockouts into, four in the corners, and one that scores extra points if you can knock an opponent into it using the new stadium gimmick. The drivers have gear teeth around the sides, the same as the ones around the sides of the stadium, which they can use to ride directly into the center at high speed, knocking their opponent directly into the pocket, or causing a huge amount of damage. The only thing I can think of as inspiration for this change is the Beyblade item you get in the Arbiter's Grounds dungeon in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, we'll just have to wait for a Star Lord Beyblade. Coincidence? As to be expected, there is also a new anime and manga coming for Beyblade X. But, as a bit of a side note, I think Takara Tomy is trying to make Beyblade appeal to more of an all-ages audience from the trailers. Specifically this one similar to how in Metal Fight, the ads seem to try and appeal to skaters and the extreme sports crowd. And that's all the info we've gotten. Let me know in the comments what Gen X Bay you'll be getting first. I think I'm going to go for this blue Knight Shield recolor to replace my go-to blue and white Sprig and Requiem. Apologies for the lack of uploads as of late, and how short this video is compared to my normal content. A lot of big life events have come up recently, which I talked about in a community post on this channel. I'm in the process of convincing one of my YouTube friends to edit for me as to not slow down the flow of content as much, but we can only cross that bridge when we come to it. Anyway, that's it from me. Milgo signing off. Peace.